Hi, welcome to Candy and Tunes. It's officially fall and the chill is in the air. I have a perfect recipe to warm you right up. It is my red wine braise beef short ribs. I guarantee you will love it. So here we have six bone in short ribs that we are going to liberally season with kosher salt. This step is very important because this is gonna seal in our flavor. We're gonna season this and then we're gonna pan sear them in a hot Dutch oven for about four minutes on each side and that will create a nice crust on the meat. So I have about two to three tablespoons of canola oil and my Dutch oven is hot. We wanna heat this up because we wanna sear. And we're gonna go fat side down, right into that pan. When you hear that sizzle, that's what you want to hear. And make sure you don't overcrowd the pan. So see here, we're just going to put in three. You might have to do this in batches, but trust me, it's worth it. So you want to just let that sit and sear for about three minutes. And then we're going to flip it to the other side. So we browned our short ribs on all four sides. Now um, you pour out some of the oil, but you want to leave those brown bits. Do not wipe them out. That is flavor. We're just going to put a little fresh oil in our pot. And now it's time to saute our vegetables. Now we have some butternut squash. That is my little twist to this dish. Butternut squash, some fresh celery onions, and also fennel. We're going to saute everything for about 10 minutes, just kind of low and slow, and we're going to add a little fresh garlic as well. Then you just want to give it, I mean, give the veggies a nice stir. Get everything covered and just, we're just going to let it cook down for about five to ten minutes before we add in the rest of our ingredients. All right, so we just removed our short ribs from our pan from the searing, and this is what you want to see. You want to create a nice brown, crusty layer, and this is flavor, and it also locks in the juices. That's the point of searing. You're locking in the juices into the meat. All right, so our veggies have cooked down for about 10 minutes and we also salted them. That's a very important step, step to add your salt and your pepper. Now it's time to add one of my all-time favorite ingredients and this is sun-dried tomatoes. So we're gonna add our sun-dried tomatoes and these are actually marinated in, I think, olive oil, and that's fine. The whole thing can go in. And then we're also going to add a half a can of tomato paste, not the whole can. And this will ensure a nice, thick, rich sauce. And then to that is the star of our show, and that is an entire bottle of red wine. You can use your favorite red wine. I used to like, I like to add a Cabernet. That's my favorite, but whatever you like to drink, add it right on in, the whole thing. And this will be the base of our sauce for those short ribs. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna bring this to a boil and let it reduce by um, maybe half for about five, five to seven minutes or so before we add the short ribs back into the pot. Okay, so you see our sauce has thickened right on up and it's time to add those brown beef short ribs back to the pan. And you see it's gonna be like a nice jacuzzi hot tub for these short ribs. They're gonna cook low and slow in the oven for two hours on 325, I believe. So we're not done. 
The next step, we want to add fresh herbs. I love, love cooking with fresh herbs, you guys. We're going to add in a whole bunch of rosemary just right on top. And then my favorite herb is fresh thyme. We're going to add a whole bundle of fresh thyme right on top. We'll fish it out later. And now our finishing touch is to add some beef stock right over top. And the beef stock will ensure to keep the short ribs nice and moist. And it'll also thin out the consistency of our sauce. We don't want it to be too thick or too thin. But the beef stock will ensure it's a nice consistency after two hours of cooking in the oven. All right, so our mixture is coming to a simmer. It's time to pop the lid on and then put it in the oven. Set your timer for two hours. We're done. So our red wine braid beef short ribs are finished cooking. And now it is time for my favorite part, taste test. So let's see. Oh, by the way, I don't even need a fork because they're so tender, they're falling off the bone. You guys, the wine is the star of the show here. You have to make this for your next Sunday dinner, bay. You want to impress someone? You want to get that ring, honey? You make this dish for your man. I guarantee you'll be ready. Until next time, thank you for watching. If you make this dish, let me know what you think, or even if you watch the video, please let me know what you guys think in the comments if you make it. Tag me so I can repost. I really want to see you all make the dishes. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you get updates and know when new recipes hit the vlog. Thank you for watching.